A new development growing out of the JEA scandal. The mayor will appoint seven new members to the JEA board now that all but one has resigned last month. The mayor's announcement comes amid the continuing federal and local investigations of the city-owned utility and a much-criticized push to sell JEA, at times without the city's permission. News 4 Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley is joining us live outside City Hall with what comes next. Kelly? Well, the council members that I spoke with today did not know the mayor was going to release that list of candidates, but they're not necessarily unhappy with the choices. And again, this is not the, the end result. This is just the first step. These candidates still have to be vetted, and then the council rules committee has to approve them. Amid a federal and local investigation into JEA, the mayor is appointing seven new board members to be the oversight of the utility. The mayor's picks all senior executives with ties to Northeast Florida. In a letter, the mayor announced the president of HBCU Edward Waters College, the CEO of UF Health Jacksonville, and the senior vice president of Ascension Healthcare to the board. He also plans to appoint retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Joseph P. DeSalvo. According to the New York Times, Times, the then Major General oversaw prisoner of war Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's recovery as the commanding general of the U.S. Army South. He's also a principal for two consulting firms based outside of Washington. Three Florida financiers are also set to be appointed, including Robert Stein, who has already served on the JEA board. Bobby Stein, you can call it the Regency Group. The picks have drawn little, if no, criticism from city leaders who are currently investigating JEA. These are really good appointees. It's hard to argue with a single one of them. They're all incredibly qualified. They're independent. They know a lot about JEA. This is, this is a strong group, and I'm excited about it. In a statement, Mayor Curry said, I'm confident that they're up to the task of rebuilding public trust and strengthening the future of this vital and valued community asset. And the vetting part will be a very important part of this process, especially now that the mayor has kind of tasked them with restoring trust in and helping navigate restoring that trust in JEA. And not only JEA's administration, but in JEA's board. You'll remember we've reported before that a former uh, board member with JEA, Alan Howard, uh, voted in favor of exploring the sales process of JEA. But then it was discovered by city attorneys that he was coordinating with Aaron Zahn to get some of that work with the sales process for his firm. So far, we've we've uh, realized through open records requests that he has already been paid more than fifty thousand dollars as a result of his firm working on the sales process for JEA. So it's going to be very important that these board members are vetted by the council and that they're a, a group of people that people can rely on going forward. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, the local station.